Okay, here they are. I bought Gracie, first time mama, and Luke and Leia. They were just born um, two days ago. Well, my wife finally picked up her goats two days ago, and she ended up buying. Well, I just let her tell you. What'd you end up buying? So when I went there, the lady had a lot of goats, and I went there to look at maybe year old goats, but she had a mama goat that had just had her first babies, twins, a boy and a girl, and they were two days old, and I fell in love with them. So, so I bought all three of them. Okay, so yeah, so full-blooded Nigerian dwarf goats, they are triple registered, triple, re triple registered, mm -hmm. and they um, um, are two days old when we bought them. When, so now they're four. They're four days old today. <laughs> so let's go look at them. You're gonna go in there and introduce us to the goats. Oh. Gracie. Gracie's the mama goat. Uh -huh. And Leia's the one with the white head. And Luke is hiding. <laughs> Luke is a screamer. <laughs> and he's got more of a brown head. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like being picked up. No, not so much, but Leia. So it's Luke and Leia are the baby goats. Leia's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Four day old baby goats. So far they're healthy, doing good. Yeah, I've been obnoxiously checking on them almost hourly. <laughs> but they've been great. So they're not really bouncing around too much yet since they're only four days old. So luckily, um, the mama goat seems to be pretty nice. Yeah, she's been real good with me handling her babies. And she's a first time mama, so but yeah, she's been real good. Yeah, she seems to be uh, pretty well mannered. Um, so everything's going pretty good. So I think we got pretty lucky with the first goat purchase. So, mama goat's pretty nice, and two babies are doing good and healthy so far. We don't know what we're going to do with the boy yet. Yeah, so the boy is like a little buckling and uh, right now, so we're not sure what we're going to do with him. Um, whether we could sell him, maybe, as a buckling. We could, also, uh, we could also end up weathering him, and then he could end up staying uh, with, a, with a buck later so he could be a buck's companion so not really sure 100 percent what we're going to do but uh he is a little buckling right now he is a typical looking nigerian dwarf he looks pretty neat got the tricolors going on yeah so the goats have been in here now for two days and the goat stall is actually working out pretty good. We ended up buying two types of straw. So we got some alfalfa straw and then we got some just kind of some orchard grass and red clover. And um, seems like maybe she prefers the orchard grass over the alfalfa. But uh, anyway, I think the uh, goat stall is working out pretty good. Got a bucket hanging there for the water. And so far they have not, they haven't climbed on top of this. So I don't know if they can actually get up there Probably they can, but uh, at least the mama. But they do like getting under it, so they'll actually all crawl underneath there. And they like getting underneath that bench. So it look, works out pretty good for the little babies. And the mama's actually got under there as well. Yeah, she was under there earlier today. And I haven't seen that yet, but. Yeah, usually if you walk up to her, like if, she, if she's, oh, she's laughing, like she might get up on top. Um, I don't know. It seems like if she's spooked, she'll go climb under there. Mm-hmm. Feels like a safe spot. Yeah. 
and she lets me touch her udders and stuff. Um, she doesn't she doesn't seem to have too much of a problem with it. So she's been real good. Yeah. And she likes the animal crackers. <laughs> You've been feeding her animal crackers. Just yeah. a cup just a couple a day. Yeah, and then buttering her up. Come here. That's it. That's all I got. It's like, come on. Those are good. Yeah, you can hear her crunch. I can hear her gulp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can hear her digesting, too. It's so loud when she's digesting. <laughs> she's like, you got any? <laughs> I don't have any. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I don't have any more. I know. So besides the hay, uh, what else you got that you're feeding her? Um, so I have loose minerals and baking soda over there if she needs it, which she has looked up a little bit. Um, and then I have some goat feed that I just bought and the lady I bought them off of gave me some of her feed so I could kind of mix. It's a sweet feed to just kind of mix until she gets over to our feed. Mm -hmm. So how much feed are you giving her a day? I'm giving her one and a half pounds. So I've been giving her a pound in the morning, half a pound in the evening. Oh, right well, now. I may have screwed that up because I gave oh, her... you gave her three quarters. That's okay. I gave her three quarters of a pound <laughs> That's this okay. morning. We can split it that way. We can do three quarters of a pound in the morning and three quarters of a pound in the evening. Yep. So two days before she ended up getting these goats, she was all worried about this barn and how it needed to be secure and everything needed to be cleaned up. So she ended up doing like a cleanup on the barn. So she ended up kind of cleaning everything up that I had out here so that the animals couldn't, you know, the goats wouldn't get hurt on anything. But she's worried about these windows. If you remember, we had a broken window. So I had some plexiglass that I had. So we just put some plexiglass in these windows, put some silicone in there, put the plexiglass in, put another uh, round of silicone in there. And that fixed the window from anything being able to get in the window. And then uh, this window over here had a broken piece of glass in it too. And we, uh, we replaced that window as well. So now when we lock up the barn, it uh, seems to be pretty good that no animals can get in here and get to the goats. So here's Comet. He's super interested in these goats. In fact, he's been sleeping near the barn sometimes, staying close. I think he thinks he's a livestock guardian dog. Mm -hmm. But he gets way too hyper right now around the goats and the mama goat's not used to him. So needless to say, he has to be uh, kept at bay or what do you want to call it? We only let him in under supervision, mm -hmm. supervised visitation only. For very short periods of time. Yeah. So from what I've heard, it's kind of best to keep the mama and the babies confined for about a week um, in the stall together for bonding and stuff. So, and it's been really cold. So um, we're gonna keep them in there. Um, I may let mama out um, on her own in about a week if it's um, too cold for the babies to come out. Um, but once it gets about 70 degrees, I should be able to let them out. Although we have some areas of the fence that I'm worried that those little bitty babies might slip under. So we may have to put some gravel or something down in those areas. Yeah, so there's a few dips in the ground, yeah, uh, where the fence may be, you know, three or so inches above the ground. And, and maybe, I mean, just in those areas, we, we intend to, you know, build that up with gravel and just to make sure that uh, no animal can kind of scurry under the fence so but basically you're thinking when it warms up here in a couple weeks we'll finally be able to let the baby goats out let them start running around the barnyard yeah with supervision of course yeah so anyway so since we're so young right now they're not really bouncing around and doing little cute goat things too much because <laughs> they're four days old so anyway give us a week or so and then uh, I think a week or so they'll probably be they'll probably be moving around better yeah yeah so we'll have some more videos of the goats when they finally get uh get playful and start to uh, run around like little baby goats do mm -hmm. anyway that's it for this video just wanted to show you the baby goats that my wife got 
these this is actually just the first purchase of goats so i think there's a couple other planned purchases mm -hmm. so what's the what's the one you're getting in a month or so so like the first week in may i've um, agreed to purchase uh, my tonic goat so a fainting goat um she's 100 percent fainting goat yeah it's a doe yes yep so she's going to be getting another young goat, but it'll be weaned. It won't be like these where it has the mama with it. It'll be a weaned goat. Mm -hmm. And uh, it'll be a fainting goat. So we'll see how that goes. That may be interesting. And then uh, then I think she's looking at getting a, a Nigerian dwarf buck. like a Yeah, from another farm. Then they're all triple registered. Um, so Yeah, so I think that's kind of what she's going to do with these goats. Is uh, So we'll end up with... A uh, total of three does. Luke may turn into a weather, mm -hmm. and then we get a a buck um, for breeding from another farm. So then that's a total of like five five goats, and one of them will be a fainting goat. I think yeah. goat math might turn into being like chicken math. That ain't good. Cause like <laughs> our chicken math is like we got twenty three chicken, twenty three chickens right now. Most of them are young. You know, I actually actually did this this morning. I counted how many animals we have. So, so we got we got like nine ducks. Mm -hmm. We've got two dogs and a cat. Okay. Right mm -hmm. now for rabbits we've got ten with three babies. Yeah, we've got ten rabbits right now. Three of them are babies. Oh, yeah. uh, Twenty-three them. chickens. Yeah. Is there something else? Is that everything? Anyway, I totaled it all up and I think it came out to forty-eight animals <laughs> that we have here. Oh, the goats. You got to total the goats. So there's mm -hmm. three goats. I think that came out to like 48 animals that we have, and that's just crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's that's that's chicken math turned into yeah <laughs> on on everything on just on all the animals. So, um, and that's it's not going to end at 48 animals. We'll probably be up to 75 here before you know it. So we'll wait and see. All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.